you can actually see that, that there's a little bit of fat there. This little bird is bulking up for a trip. Yusuf Atia was able to determine that in seconds by checking the bird's fat with a soft rustling of its feathers. We monitor land birds, uh, mostly songbirds, by combination of methods including banding them, catching them and putting bands on them, as well as uh, just visual, visual observations. The wildlife biologist is with a Calgary-based bird banding group who are stationed at this site in Elkwater for the summer. He and a few others are working to determine population declines and increases among various species. And these can actually give us, can alert us to conservation concerns, not just of the birds um, of individual species, but of the environment as a whole. The Calgary Bird Banding Society has been working out of this provincial park for the past two years in a pilot program. This is their first standard year and now staff are saying they're hoping to set up a permanent migration monitoring station. It's such a unique ecosystem, being a bit of the mountains out in the middle of the prairies, um, there's potentially things to be learned there that we can't learn at any other station. Ensuring the nets sit permanently on this land will take a few years to confirm, but already management in the park are hoping for the best. It's a new visitor experience there. People can come and see what bird banding is all about. And despite the slight delay to each bird's day, the process to gather the information needed is a harmless one, meaning this little guy can quickly carry on. Yvonne Raymond, Chat News.